All right, what is up, guys? Minish Cap One here. I'm gonna be giving you a <laughs> AP top lane Skarner, potentially AP proxy top lane Skarner, but we'll see. And the idea behind AP top lane Skarner is I I know for sure the first item that you want to take is Cosmic Drive to get your W and your Q cooldown and your E cooldown as low as possible, and just spam the button as much as possible. Uh, laning phase, pretty standard Skarner stuff, where you just, you know, pop your W and poke, and poke, and poke, and that's the entire laning phase, so. Oh, missed that one, no worries. But, that's all you really do. And then you farm up, you get your Cosmic Drive, and you just spam more. And then whenever the pesky ranged top laner walks up to hit you, then you push your W button again, and just chunk him. Cosmic Drive does also give movement speed as well as a ton of CDR. Your W has a 0.8 AP ratio, which helps it to do very chunky damage. Which is quite nice. Take a bit of poke here, but no worries. Just want to make sure I get my mana flow band stacked up. Let her push in. I believe she warded right there. Minion. You do take double health scaling shards here. I eclipse you. Because your Q deals damage based on your max health, which is quite nice. Nice little chunk for me there. Just smacking her. You do use mana, but I have teleport and she doesn't, so. That is okay. Just get value where I can. I didn't hit her there. Damn, I thought I did. All good. She spaced me pretty well. I think she has movement speed. Yeah, she does have. She has celerity, actually. Interesting. Or she's just that fast. I fucked it up. I missed every ability. I'm sorry. We got her uh, double sums, though. Which is good. And that can actually just hold the wave here. We can probably come back around for it if he wants to, but... I do have my E here. You know she's flashless, let me just kill her. Hold my hold my flash here, honestly. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Is that two? Nice. Let's go. Echo gets one, I get one. You want to rush your Fiendish Codex? It gives AP and cooldown reduction, 900 gold item. And then you can go Aether Rift second, or you can go Kindle Jump second. Aether Rift is preferable, honestly, even though Kindle Jump gives cooldown reduction. The reason I go Aether Rift is for the movement speed and the AP. AP being very strong because you're W maxing AP ratio. Building more AP on Skarner, obviously. Uh, this is a good recall opportunity for me, so I'm gonna take it. I want to proxy the next wave, I just don't know exactly where the, um, the jungler is, so. But here is Fiendish Codex. You can also... get cooldown reduction boots with it, but I'm actually just going to hold it. You can also eat a lane. Your E after the hotfix, E cooldown base is 20 seconds. After you get finished codex, you're already at a fi uh, 15 second cooldown, so that's already 5 off of it. Very, very nice. Uh, I think her flash is still down. Potentially it's killable if Echo wants to come back up. We'll see though. It would be... I think she had 6, so it's reliant. Let me hitting my R. There is a bit of a delay on that. Ooh, nice smack. Ooh. She's getting messed up here. It's a lot of poke. Then just wait to hit my W button until she walks up again. Wonder if she goes for this minion right here. Nice. Go ahead and E away. No worries. There's her alt.
No worries. Even if I flashed Ard there, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she gets away. Potentially it's diveable though. She's really low. She used her fleet on a minion there as well, so. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh yeah, Grubs as well. Q applies to turrets. Only half damage to turrets, but it does apply to turrets. And I can actually proxy this next wave as well. Get my AP proxy going here. Actually, I want the, I want the plate. I think that's the better the better call. I can just push this wave normally. Very nice. Another bunch of damage. It's actually two turret plates, and I have a kill, and she's died twice, and I have two assists. I'm doing very well this lane. Buy Aether Wisp here. Then I'll go ahead and buy Tier 1 Boots, because she has Tier 1 Boots as well. Actually, what I can do is just buy my cooldown Boots here and DP to lane. I can really start spamming those Ws. So now my W cooldown is... 5 seconds, and my E cooldown is 14.5, so decent. I also bought the cooldown boots before I TP'd, because it does give you summoner spell reduction, or cooldown reduction. I can kind of space out her uh, silver bolt, which is wild. Smack. Just run away as soon as she pops her. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think so, Vayne. Watch the condemn. I'm chilling. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. She's not having a good time, bros. I have potion running, so we just walk up. Another little smack there. I want to dive it. I don't know where Zack is, so it's kind of dangerous, but I really want to dive this. I'm pretty sure I can just E onto her and then push my W button and kill her. Well, that's unfortunate. Sixty-five mana though. She's in here, I get her. Ah, she's all the way back there. She's so scared. No worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, I'll leave. Wanna make sure that this gets under turret though. Zack is up here, so I just E out. Oh my gosh! Kasten's here to run, boys, run! As you can see, Skarner tends to be tends to be able to do pretty well against ranged top laners. Oof. Spooky. I didn't have a teleport. But I do need a recall. Here's Aether Wisp. Available. To protect what is mine. I can get my mana back as well. And then you can leave your fountain with your E button as well, as long as you're near full mana. It is 50 mana, and Skarner does not really buy mana items, so... You you can buy tier. There are tier builds doing around. I don't like the tier builds that much. I think the tier items are just not that good on him. So, you tend to get your mana from your runes on Skarner. Things like mana full of mana. If you're jungling, then you don't really worry about mana at all, but... Also, her ghost is down, so potentially killable if Echo comes. Chunk this wave super hard. My reward. Walk over here and help my team. I'm pretty sure we just get these grubs though. There's a vein over here. Oh, I thought I hit her. I did not hit her. I believe they just get these though. Story. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> but she just can't deal with my W, so. Easy enough. My team is fighting over there, but I really just want to push this wave in. Another W. Get the whole wave shoved. We have six grubs as well, so. I just walk up here and hit this with my Q. Bonus damage to turrets. You just poke with your W and push with your Q. He's a very, very simple champion in top lane. He's similar to Malphite. This is kind of the similar, uh, the same thing that Malphite does, where you just poke and then you push and then you poke and then you push. Same vibes. I need to leave though, Vayne's gonna be here. I don't have enough mana to clear, actually. Thanks, Rock. Oh no. Okay, she ghosted at me and then she had to back up because I flashed. Love it. Well, there's that again. This Vayne really, really wants to kill me and she's just not getting the chance to. Did I kill her there? <laughs> she's so fucking tilted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, man. She is so fucking mad right now. There's no way that her keyboard is in one piece. That thing is in two pieces. I refuse to believe she's at a normal level of mental health. Alright. Recall. Get my mana. Then we're going to TP in. And continue our rampage in top. I'm actually going to go... Uh, I wasn't going to go Landry's initially. You can go Bruiser Skarner, AP Bruiser Skarner, if you want to. You don't have to. You can go tank after you get Cosmic Drive, but I'm going to go Leandry Skarner because they do have um, a Zac, so. Just keep running. Oh no, wait, I have W. Oh my god, she's so pissed! W again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, the cosmic drive really put some work in. Oh my god. It really does put some work in whenever you have it done. Oh, there's a cast in here. Time to run. I don't think he gets me, actually. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No. <laughs> the mental health is shattered. There's just no way. This guy picked Vayne top and he was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna show this Skarner player. I'm gonna show him what's up. Skarner top lane? That's a tank champion, right? Proceeds to get smashed by full AP Skarner. Oh my god, man. I love it. We can honestly probably kill her. I have zero fear of this vein right now. Like, if I overcommit, obviously I can die, but... Bye-bye. <laughs> and she's done so again. I block so much damage with my W though, like even if she's proccing Silver Bolts, it's so hard for her to actually put meaningful damage on me, it takes a while for her. Oh hello, there's a pink ward in that bush, I'll kill it after this wave. Then you also are scaling your Q this entire time, because you're also buying, um, or you're also gaining percent max health, or just max health I should say, with your runes, overgrowth, and double health scaling shards, so your Q scales in damage as well. And the Zack is now taking her farm, so she's definitely tilted. She wasn't before, she is now. I just accidentally, uh... Eat the blue. Be 
My sword, it's gone. She ghosted and ulted there, I believe. It's probably killable. I don't want to mess around too much, though. Alright, there's the W range right there. If she walks against this wall, I'll get her. I think I'm on a ward, though, with the way that she's standing. All of a sudden, she's playing so carefully, right? It has to be a ward. Also, your Q cooldown is quite low as well with this, so... Another nice thing about the Cosmic Drive Skarner. Faster in combat. Great Q cooldowns. He's just so cooldown gated that it makes sense to be able to, like, get a bunch of CDR, right? The whole champion rolls around making sure that your abilities are available. I guess a lot of champions roll around that, but especially Skarner. Alright, Landry's is up. I wish I had the Earth Rune skin on this account. The Earth Rune skin is beautiful. I'm not a big fan of the base Skarner skin, but Earth Rune is actually gorgeous. I, I love that skin. He outranges my my Q, unfortunately. Oh. He's so fast, though. Whoops, I hit the, uh, the wolf. You can't fight me, though, Casting M. Run, run, little boy. Unstoppable. Hit her. <laughs> Time to run. We got two top. Oh, I'm going back in. I have Landry's. I'm poking. I have Landry's. I'm poking. They're having a rough time right now. Another point in my queue. Oh my god, she's dead! <laughs> run! Zack is here! Rosanna's ganking me! Run! <laughs> I killed her! <laughs> Just demolishing her with damage from a distance. You, hey, you, you want to harass a melee top laner? Yeah, harass this melee top. I, I love dude. Man, I I am always disappointed because he doesn't feel like old Skarner at all. But if you just think about Skarner, this Skarner has a new champion. Like, he feels fun to play. He's so simple. He can just get stuff done like this. He can poke range champions. He can proxy. He doesn't have the mobility or scaling of Singe, in my opinion. Like, he does scale well. If you look at him in a vacuum, like, compared to other top lane champions. But no one really scales as well as Singe for team fights, in my opinion. They didn't even have a single kill yet, by the way. Should I go Rift Maker? I want to. I want to do it. I'm TPing in. They're going to kill a single person. I got knocked back, Rip. Look at Ash just taking random AoE damage and getting demolished. We've gotten three inhibitors. I have crushed this top lane so hard. I don't even know if they can farm against three inhibs. It needs to take me a while to kill this red buff, but I'm gonna do it. I actually think you kill it maybe slightly faster than build building tank Skarner, at least for the uh, top lane. Yeah, they're having a hard time even just clearing supers. Oh, JK got to run. I don't even think he beats me, though. It's <laughs> <laughs> my Landry's damage, 800 damage. Alright, here's some more cooldown reduction. I got another Fiendish Codex. My W cooldown is 3.5 seconds. E is t 11 seconds if I round up both ways. 
If they steal this Baron with Zack, I was gonna say. Oh my god. <laughs> they're, they're just, they, they're barely able to clear these minions, man. They're having some problems. Alright, let's walk over here. Give you a little bit of wave clear echo, why not? Let's just go over here and bully them. I can get this blue buff, actually. With blue buff, I'll have unlimited mana, so I can just spam like a monster. Very nice, let's go. Let's get it. I'll just go ahead and E through this wall. I can E through the entire thing, kind of wild. Alright, I'm just gonna stand back and pepper them with my W over and over. Do they get a kill? Oh, they're out of range. Oh my god, I smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> Rip the vein top, man. He he counter picked me in champ select. He saw that I I locked in Skarner top first pick. <laughs> And he was like, you know what, dude? I want to pick Vayne. Yeah, bro. I want to play Vayne. I'm going to shit on this tank top laner. Yeah, here you go. There's there's your versus tank top lane experience. I don't... The, the enemy team actually did not get a single kill, by the way. We were 28 kills and 38 assists. I don't think I've ever seen a solo queue game get stomped that hard. It's been a long time. That's been a while. But I, I had a kill here from the Echo Gank, which was pretty good. Because I believe we, we, we killed the Vein. Because I know that she used both summoners to get away from me. I wall slam her. Then we just run her down. It's a 200 gold assist for that first blood. It's kind of wild. Then we just killed the Zac here as well. So I get a decent gold lead. I get a kill on him. Here, the vein, I fuck up my R, but then uh, we just dive her because she's not recalling for some reason. She doesn't want to give up turret plates, I suppose. She had a chance to recall when my team was finishing um, grubs, but then she stayed. And then I get, I believe I get two plates here. Another wave pushed in. Here is... I'm missing ult again. I don't think I actually ulted her once this game. But just putting out so much damage on her. Missed my rock. You'd, you'd think she would run, because I have my shield coming up every, like, five seconds, and then I have a Janna shield as well. Like, even though she's vain, right? You have to you have to think, like... She's not... The, the shields don't count as extra health, so she's not actually gaining damage whenever I'm shielded. It still goes off of my maximum health, her silver bolts, right? Which, without my access to shields every five seconds on my W, and then here, this kill was, oh my god, her, her brain was broken. And then she gets a minion blocked and dies. <laughs> because she actually, if you want, she loses her ghost, is why she gets a minion blocked. Because ghost actually gives you the ability to, to walk through units, it gives you unit walking, in League they call it ghosting, in Dota they call it unit walking. And it gives you the ability to walk through minions. I don't think she knows that because she's like kiting around them too. But that's a very a, a small feature of ghosts is that you get to phase through units. That would normally body block you. So if you're ever minion blocked, you can actually ghost through the wave. But it's not an obviously not, not an ideal use of the summoner spell. You don't want to use it for that if you can avoid it. Here's the next fight. This is where I I was one B2 here. I lived for so long. I actually pulled Zach out of his E with my E. I ulted her here actually, decent ult there. So I delayed some damage while I while she was in my or in my ult, yeah. Juke the Zack jump again. So many W's though, energy and a shield and a heal. I'm just Wing like so much. It's so crazy. How many W's do I actually use here? Alright, so let's watch let's watch one time. I'm so curious. Alright, so I W'd once there at the start. W again here, that's two. Here's three W's. Here's four W's, and every time I do that, I'm getting a shield and damage out. Here's five W's and a Janna shield. Then six six W's here. That's just so disgusting. Here we actually killed Cassidy. 
He he got super greedy for me. He ulted in the bush, tried to kill me, get a W off, kite away, and then they just run him down and kill him. Here's me running through the wall to just bully Vayne. How many Ws I get here? One. Auto. Auto. W. Throw Q. So it would have been three Ws if I didn't, uh, if Echo didn't help me. Still pretty ridiculous. And here's this is where I'm killing her under turret. Remember, I, I was telling, I told myself I'm gonna walk up and limit test here and just started poking the absolute shit out of them here. Oh. Wait, did I finish my Rift Maker? I did not finish Rift Maker, unfortunately. I wanted it for the thumbnail. And then Q flash W. Look at look at look at the chunk here. Man, this is so satisfying. <laughs> scaling your Q because of your runes, scaling your W because of your AP. Man, I love it. Here's me soloing Cassidin with half HP and one third mana. He jumps on me, pop my W, just start smacking him. Give him some right clicks here. Oh, that third, that third Q hits so hard. Because it's not even like I don't have health. I have 3.2k health, right? So it does, it does hit like a truck. Here I wall slam Zack. Quite decent. And here, I'm just peppering them in their fountain. Almost killed the vein. The amount of damage coming out for me is ridiculous here. And we did kill the vein, actually. Man, this game was a curb stomp. Holy moly. Alright, guys. I'll probably play more AP Skarner uh, before the patch is over. The, this, this is fun. Or just play more Skarner top in general. I'll obviously, guys, back to the Singed video soon. I promise. Back to Singed video soon. I just want to have some fun, do a little something different. Um, and I actually do enjoy Skarner quite a bit. I hope that they don't kill him top lane. I'll be very sad if they kill him top lane. I think he's a very fun top laner. And deceptively requires a little bit more skill than you would think because I feel like people aren't picking the right champions against him. Like, you'd probably want to pick stuff like uh, Trindamir, where you can just run at him until he dies, right? Like, you can just run at Skarner until Skarner dies, or play like Fiora or something, right? Like, people aren't really picking, I think, the champions that are good. They, they just want to slam, like, their their Kled or their Garen and then get poked out, right? So, yeah, that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll catch you next one. Later, everyone.